Now, I'm not one to gossip, but I will bring you the tea. Welcome to Chronicle Speaks. Please, please, I don't have any time for any gossip now. Mm -hmm. Eh? Yes. Look at you. So your girl Megan Thee Stallion's name is buzzing again. She and Cardi B have a hot new song and video out called WAP. In my personal opinion, the song and video is hot. Well, child, that's not the only thing that's hot. Megan's best friend, Kelsey, is hot in her feelings and ready to set the record straight on some things. But before we get into that, be sure to subscribe to this channel and hit the bell for notifications so you don't miss any of this tea. Now let's get back into so it. So Cardi B and Megan released the song and video last night for the song called WAP. And in my opinion, the song is a bop. Cardi never disappoints on visuals. They definitely slayed in that department. And both of them are some hella fied dancers. It was just a bop to me. I was really feeling the song and the video. Well, a lot of people were not feeling the video because your girl, Kylie Jenner, got her own cameo. And her cameo was much longer than any of the African-American women that appeared in the video. Everybody is just trying to figure out why. Why was she even there? It's bad enough the Kardashian-Jenner clan really don't have much talent. Now we got to feature them in all of our videos. Child, Twitter went in on Kylie being involved. Bitch. Now the video also included Normani, Mulatto, Rosalia, Ruby Rose, and Sukihana. Now with all of those cameos, many question why wasn't Kylie's part cut out? Kylie, who no longer follows Megan on Instagram anymore, seemed to be good friends when Megan appeared at Kylie's pool party alongside rapper Tory Lanez. But after Megan revealed that she was shot in the foot upon leaving Kylie's party, Kylie obviously distanced herself from the situation altogether, and we haven't heard word from her revolving around the incident. No, I hope you get better, prayers up for Meg, anything. And this is a family that puts everything on social media. Now, Megan, who has opened up about getting shot and no longer being as trusting as she once was, opened up on Instagram last night and revealed that she felt betrayed by a friend in regards to getting shot. Take a listen to this. I feel like this is a thing that I see every single day. And I see so many women. And I see so many men you know, talking shit about this, the person says, what did you feel after getting shot? I felt like really crazy. I felt like, why did I get shot? Like, what did I do? It was insane. The shit was crazy. And I feel like some people think that it's funny. And I feel like some people think that it's a joke. And I feel like some people think that they're saying it to get to me. But I'm, I'm not ashamed of who I am and I'm not ashamed of what I've been through. And I'm not scared to say anything about anything. Um, not fun I don't understand like I just felt very betrayed by a friend I felt very betrayed by all my friends I just felt very betrayed by a friend I felt very betrayed by all my friends um, I felt very shocked very scared but y'all the one thing that y'all need to know about me is I'm not a person who who is able to be down for a long time. Like I'm not a person who is, I don't like to be victimized. I don't like to, I don't like to feel like, oh my God, Megan, something's wrong. Like I like to be upbeat, I like to be happy because of where I came from and who I've been around and the things that I've actually seen and been through. Like. I feel like I always have to be a light. I feel like I always have to be an example because I've actually seen some fucked up things and I've been through some fucked up things and I, I always want people to know that pain does not last forever and like 
bad times don't last forever. So I definitely always want people to see me being an example of bad things not lasting forever. Just because you go through something bad don't mean that that's the time you're going to be in forever. And just because somebody may want to make you feel bad doesn't mean that you have to give into, you know, what people want, the emotions people want you to feel. Like, if you happy, you a bitch. Like, just be a bitch. Don't let, my grandma always told me, don't never let nobody steal your joy. So that's the type of person I am. I'm never going to let nobody steal my joy. So with that being said, no matter what happens to you, it's not going to, no matter what bad happens to you, it's not going to last forever and you should never let anybody steal your joy. Now with Megan saying that she felt betrayed by a friend and then saying that she felt betrayed by all of her friends, her bestie Kelsey definitely became a target last night. Kelsey is usually always in pictures with Megan the Stallion and she usually promotes anything new that Megan has coming out. Well, recently she's done neither. Now, Kelsey was in the car with Megan the Stallion and Tory Lanez when Megan got shot. But again, we don't know what happened and obviously Kelsey is not telling either. Now, Kelsey took to Instagram in a now deleted post that was captured by the neighborhood talk and she said, respect my absence. Those that need to be in communication with me are in communication with me. Only reason y'all get this post is because when certain things are said, y'all speculate me and I've let it slide more than a few times. Bottom line, we both had a traumatic experience that night. I'm taking time to get myself together mentally, physically, and emotionally, which is very necessary, and I choose to do that off of social media. I also pray everyone finds peace and guidance in the midst of all of this. Then Kelsey liked the following post on Instagram. She's seen people tagging her in the last post saying she the one that shot Megan. Megan should definitely clean up who did it at least. And this is a post that Kelsey likes, so she's pretty much agreeing that Megan needs to come out and say something so Kelsey's name can at least be cleared up. Again, Megan is not being seen with Kelsey. Megan has not admitted to who has shot her, but we do know that there were at least two other people in the car, one of which was Tory Lanez and the other one was her best friend, Kelsey. Megan also says that she was betrayed by a friend and then she says she felt betrayed by all of her friends. So everybody's looking at Kelsey like, what did you do? The whole guessing game of it all is getting annoying. I don't know if this is for legal purposes that Megan won't go into detail, but she does at least need to clear up her best friend's name if her best friend had nothing to do with it. If this is your best friend, she's had your back, she was there when your mother passed and all of this, you really need to clear up her name because you see everybody on social media media going in on her and she's pretty much left out there she's not the celebrity like you are she's pretty much left out there to defend herself and it's not fair I don't know what happened that night I was not there that night however if you have a best friend that was there and a lot of people are speculating that your best friend did it because you came out and you admitted to being shot when all of us thought you just had glass in your foot you're leaving your bestie out there to dry. And if that's your best friend, like y'all have been claiming y'all are best friends, you need to have her back. Well, child, I want to know what you guys thought about the WAP video and the song. Were you feeling it? Is it a bop? Is it not? And also, what do you think about Megan Thee Stallion coming out and saying that she felt betrayed by her friend and then saying she felt betrayed by all of her friends? Do you think Kelsey should feel away? Y'all know how we do. Leave a comment and we'll talk about it down below. Talk to you guys later. Bye. In this video, I want to tell you about a company called Ash Kicking. Now, you know your girl Chronicles would not promote a company without doing one of those thorough Chronicle Speaks investigations, honey. And Ash Kicking definitely passed the test. Y'all make sure to check out ashkicking.com for one of the best 100% natural home fragrance and beauty products, honey. And use my code Chronicles at checkout for an extra 15% off just for you. As always, thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and hit that bell so you don't miss any of my new episodes.